Hello, my name is Robert Reuven Abraham Abergel, and in this uh, presentation, I'm going to talk about the quad mining. Quad mining is a concept for gold mining, which is really a franchise of gold mining, and I believe it's going to be very interesting because it's going to revolutionize the way gold mining is done, in it, if applied correctly, of course. A little bit about myself. I've been in the mining business in 2000, since 2004. Uh, in between 2004 to 2007, I was investigating this business. And in 2008, I started my own gold mining mine. Uh, I would say, I wouldn't even call it a mine. It was a mining project, small one. In Brazil, they call it a garimpo. Garimpo is like an artisan mine. So with about 20 people, we, we got together and we took an area in the Amazon region and we worked on it and we took some gold out of it and I was the, I was the one who financed the entire project. In 2008, I continued doing that up until 2009, then I stopped for about a year. During that time, I was presenting mining projects for uh, junior mining companies from the TSX or from New York. And then knowing all the players, I, in 2011, I became the CEO of Lion Gold Brazil. As a CEO of Lion Gold Brazil, I got many, uh, many gold mining projects uh, across my desk. And what I did really as a CEO, I had to evaluate the gold mining projects and in order to bring them, to pledge them into the company's uh, asset base. And as a CEO, I learned two things. Number one, I learned, I learned the corporate governance. I had no idea what it was. And I learned about stock issuance, and I learned about press releases, and I learned about funding the project, and I learned about the entire process of taking a project, a claim from nothing to a proven reserve status, and what does it entail? What does it involve? And as a CEO, many cross, many, many projects crossed my desk. And looking at many projects and analyzing them, I came to the conclusion that there is a flaw in this whole thinking process, which I'm going to share with you. At the same time, parallel to this, I was looking at doing my own mind, but doing it the second time around, instead of doing it in a way that in this way, which is the artisan way, which is completely inefficient, completely destructive to the environment, and it's really, you know, you don't get that much gold anyway. So instead of doing this, doing it this way, is going from this way to an organized plant like this one. In any case, when I looked at the organized plants, the way they work, I found out that, you know, despite the big things and the the big equipments, which seems to be modern and all this. Really, I mean, there was a lot of waste there. I mean, you see this plant, for example, you, you know, a bowl mill like this, you got the centrifuges. I mean, these type of projects with all the good intentions, they still let about 50% of the gold escape. In other words, 50% of the gold is not even recovered is going as waste. So I, I came to the conclusion that there must be a better way to do the gold mining business. And I looked at two fronts. Number one, I looked at the technology of the gold mine itself, the gold plant itself, and I looked at the process of the gold mine. And I came to this quad mining concept. The quad mining concept is really based on two column, two column system. The, the quad mining combines the gold claim proving process, the process of proving a claim, thinking, taking a claim from zero to a proven reserve status, and the second thing is the patented mining technology. I will, uh, we'll be looking at two things, the two legs, I would say, the two columns that support the quad mining uh, concept. So if we talk about the gold claim process, I'm going to explain it to you the way it was done, the way it is done, and the way I feel it should be done. And then I'm going to talk to you about the patented mining technology, the way it was done, and the way it should be done. And that's basically the quad mining concept. 
it's a when it comes to the plant it's a patented technology it's developed after careful evaluation of the modus operandi of gold mines in general from the research phase to the final exploration phase and the quad system or concept it overcomes the flaws in the gold mining process and it reduced the time span between the research phase to the exploration phase by 80 percent this is basically the gist of the quad mining concept I'd like you to look at this uh, two triangles here and here you're going to see i'm going to talk about the modus operandi of taking a claim from zero and bringing it to a proven reserve monetized 43101 or JORT report okay and if you look at the model here it basically shows you how much money you spend uh, in the beginning you let's say you're a public company so you have to have a claim you have to have a gold claim so you go in you find a gold claim you talk to the owner you make an investment you have to pay him something down to take the, the claim right so here you, you lose money no you pay him and then you are you making a, a commitment that over the three to four years you're going to do a drilling campaign in this drilling campaign you're going to uh, invest such and such and every six months you're going to pay him and you're going to take care of all the licenses uh, all the fees and over the the next three years that's what you're going to do you're going to put money in continue the drilling campaign do press releases periodically uh, raise some money from your shareholders and in the end in the end after three years when you have, if everything goes well you're going to have a monetized report 43101 if you look at this triangle it pretty much tells you how it goes i mean you put a little bit money here then a little bit more here then a little bit more here then a little bit more here the problem with this concept is that from day one you're losing money you don't have a cash flow from day one you have a negative cash flow and over a long period of time this is the model that the mining company are using why because very simple if you are not a company if you're not a mining company then you are private privately owned company you wouldn't have to go through a very long time without any cash flow but if you use other people other people's money you can do it because it's a public company as long as you report everything as it is so that's basically that's basically the way the modus operandi of of all the mining i would say 99 percent of the mining the junior mining companies that either in a tsx uh, or the australian stock exchange or the otc market or in any market that's basically the way the way it was done so from day one you're losing money the process is long many companies somewhere down the line fall because they don't have the money they simply cannot raise the money to do this so all the money that was put in in the re research is lost lost forever okay so this is a very very big flaw so what did i do i came up with a different model which reverses the the concept uh, instead of doing a dime instead, instead of giving a down down payment for the guy here use the money to to buy yourself two plants which are not that expensive you find a claim you either buy the claim or you either license the claim then you buy two plants and you start generating cash as early as i would say nine months from inception okay and as you see here as time goes by you spend less and less money you spend less and less and your income grows more and more okay so in the end you're going to have a very nice cash generating project here you got a cash alligator i mean this this kind of business just eats all your cash and this kind of business you're going to start making cash and you're going to expand it indefinitely using quad mining uh, strategy so this is the basic flow and that's how we're going to do it you're going to that's basically what you're going to do you're going to invest in a, in a plant intelligent plant 
and then expand, bootstrap it, and grow. So here's we have an opportunity. You know, you know, as you know, Brazil is is a big country. It's as big as United States, and being that it's so big, it has a lot of gold spread throughout its territory, and uh, especially up north. You know, here in in Belém, in Pará, in the Amazon region here, in Rondônia, in Cuiabá, in Minas Gerais, in Bahia. In, Brazil has many, many gold reserves, okay? Now, where's the, the opportunity? The opportunity is very simple. Public companies, as a rule, they don't go after small mining projects. They will not go after a garimpo. It has to be a big project. It has to have at least, at least, the very least 200,000 ounces, okay? So, here's the opportunity. The opportunity is that there are many, many garimpo-style sites that mining companies will never look at them why because number one there's no research done on them number number two they're just a garimpo operation type number three i mean there's very little gold there not enough to justify a big investment so since the reserve is too small to be considered a good asset what did they do they just ignore them as a result all these gold claims are there for the taking and I'm talking about millions and millions and millions of ounces that's out there. The only thing is, there is no 43101. There is no joke report. There's no 43101 report. All we got to do is just go mine the gold, but mine the gold in an intelligent way. And that's the approach I'm going to talk about next. The quad mining process, I told you, talks about two column system. Number one, locating and proving a specific site. And number two, deployment of the technology of the quad. So, had, I told you that that we basically reversed the triangle I was talking to you about before. So, first of all, you got to find a gold claim before you do anything. So, you locate the gold claim with excellent surface indicators. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of sites to choose from. Okay, there's many, many garimpos. For example, in Pará, every few kilometers on the Trans-Amazonic Highway, every few kilometers you got to get info. So what do we do? We find a claim. Usually there, there are claims, I mean, there are claims with the research license. You can take over them. Or you can take uh, a claim with the PLG that's a claim that was licensed as a garimpo, licensed as a small artisan mine. Okay, and the definition, don't, don't be hooked on the definition of an artisan mine because a small artisan mine can become a very big one if you, if you work it well. So, what do we do? We make an option agreement with the site claim or the claim owner for I, either outright purchase or for royalties. We don't pay more than 10%. Okay, now when it comes to outright purchase for the sites, the rule of thumb is the more data you have, the more you would pay. So because there's no data there, only rumors that you have gold, that you might gold, might have gold there or not, so we pay anywhere between $50,000 to $300,000. Depends on the size of the claim. Okay, once the option agreement is signed, our company will go ahead and conduct a three-step shallow research. The three-step shallow research is not the 43101, but it gives you a good picture. You're able to have an idea of how much in reserve you have there. It's not 100%, it's 90% 90, 90 probability that it's a good project. We really need, we, all we need is really a 90% chance that the site is good to start putting some equipment there. So the first phase is technical visit. And I, I, got to, I got to stress something. The process is self. The process is self-correcting. Why? Because you would not. You would go. You would do step one. And you spend about ten thousand dollars in step one. And if step one is cool, if, if step one comes out right, you would go. You would go ahead with step two. But you will not go to step two. If step one is not right. So usually, you can cut your losses very early. 
in this game. So step one is a technical visit of a qualified geologist. Uh, so you go in, the, the geologist go to the field, and usually I go there myself with him. We check the logistics, we check the licenses, we make sure that there's water, there's access, there's electricity, and we purchase and analyze satellite mining data. We identify the main targets, also the main veins and their contact. I would say how much how much gram per ton you got in this vein, how much gram per ton you got in that vein. We take samples from the out outcrops in the field, and then we open our ears. You know, there's many things we we, we learn just by being there. You know, uh, once I went to to check a site, and as we were sitting down around the fire. And uh, drinking our coffee, uh, guy, one of the Garimpevos pulled me to the side and told me, listen, this is a good place, but you know what? A couple of kilometers from here, you got a better place, much better. You got about 60 grams per ton. You got, you got about 60 grams per ton. You got to test, you got to test it. So this is the kind of information you get just by being there, being in the field. Anyway. If all goes well, if all the data that we get is nice, then we go to step two. In step one, we spend anywhere between seven to ten thousand dollars, no more than that. Okay, that includes the the geologist. Uh, we pay him by the day, so it, it would cost that much, up to ten thousand dollars. And if all goes well, then we go to step two. Step two. Step two costs about anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars. Now, what's the idea behind step two? We do a technical, we do trenching. We hire a, an excavator and we do some trenching. We dig some trenches and we check their content. We do shallow drilling. I think it's a two-team uh, process. And we take two guys with a portable drill and we go and we drill up to thirty meters down every spot we take the sample at various depths and we take all the samples put it on a truck send it to SGS and get the report of how much how much gram per ton you get there now very important if we happen to have a plant already a mobile plant of the quad which I'm going to talk about next if we happen to have a, a mobile plant by no means bring it put it on the field and use that plant as the test but if we don't we can do this research shallow research up to 30 meters we do trenching that will be fine okay and like I said step two takes about costs about anywhere from 30 to 50 thousand dollars we only do step two if step one was right then step three we do an analysis of the data and we get we, we reach a conclusion some target some target volume can be calculated although it is not a jort or not a 43 or 101 it is still a valuable indicator for the project success with 90 percent probability if all goes well the site will be qualified for mining experience if not the site will be dropped and another site should be looked at. That's basically the way we prove the site. How much did we spend here? About fifty to sixty thousand dollars. It's a lot cheaper than six million dollars when you go when you do it the you do it with a public company with the forty three one oh one. A lot cheaper than that. It's not a forty three one oh one, but it's good enough to give you an indication that that's a good site. You better do something with it. You can get some gold from that. And heck, if you want to do a 43101, you would do it with the cash you generate from the quad. You will not do it from borrowed money or from shareholders' money. Because uh, let's say you have a quad that's making about 40, uh, 40 kilos a month or 30 kilos a month. You can, take about, uh, you can take about 10 kilos from that and do the 43101 with the money of the quad if you want to go that route. But that's an option. That's an option you should consider as well. Now let's talk about the technical part. So we got the claim. The claim is in our hand. What do we do? So this is the quad. Quad means four. 
just before I explain the quad concept, uh, the technical concept of the quad, I just want to tell you how did I came, how did I develop it. Uh, because I was in the Garim Port, because I saw the small mining operations, and I saw all the challenges in it, and I saw the big mining operations of the big companies, and I saw the challenges there. I mean, their challenge is really overhead. If you look at all the, the system, that means there's, there's a flaw in the big mining operations and the small one. So I took a mining engineer, he sat down, and we designed uh, two type of plants, an oxidized plant, in other words, a plant that can process the oxidized ore, or the ore that's, uh, I mean, there's two types of ore, there's oxidized, there's sulfatized. The basic difference between the oxidized and the sulfatized, the oxidized is, is easier to remove. It's in particles. I mean, you can see the particles with the eyes. And the uh, sulfatized, I mean, it's encrusted in a very, very small particles within the rock. So you would need a, a, a chemical process like leaching to take the gold out. So the challenge was, I mean, all the, all the usual, all the Garimperos, all they do, they only do with the oxidized. They only do the oxidized mining. With the oxidize you're able to recover about 40% of the gold. And you, <laughs> what about the other 60%? That's where the sulfatized process comes into picture, into the picture. And the problem was that you can do this oxidized and sulfatized only in the big plants because they require huge uh, damnings, uh, uh, they, they require a, a huge infrastructure, and special licenses for that. I mean, we do away with all that. We do away with all that by using this concept of of oxidized plant and a sulfatized plant mounted on trucks. Basically, that's what it is. <laughs> and uh, that's how I came up with the, the with the quadrus. I sat down with this engineer. And we designed the oxidized plant, the plant that takes you of the oxidized material, and then we designed one for the sulfatized material. We put them together. The plants were patented. Okay, so this is a patented technology. And it was just recently released. So I believe this is the best way to operate the gold mine using this concept. And that's why I came up with the, with the idea of the quad, which is four plants, four oxidized plants, supplying a central plant with so, central sulfatized plant with the with the ore, and that's how I came with the with the quad. That's what we call the quad. The, the next thing that we do after we get the, a claim, we take an oxidized plant, and we take a sulfatized plant, and we take electro winning unit. We put them all together. By the way, this is all mobile, all on the truck. We bring them to the site, and we we start processing the ore that's on the site, and we start making gold immediately from the money you make from this you go ahead and you create the second oxidized plant the third oxidized plant and the fourth oxidized plant that's why you get quad now remember the perimeter is going to be around this you're going to have you're going to have a close perimeter as a matter of fact the, the perimeter is going to be around here okay the oxidized plant doesn't need to be protected okay don't have to be protected because the real gold is really created here. And I'm going to go into details in the next slide. And let's go look at the, first of all, let's look at, look at the oxidized plant. This is the oxidized plant. Basically what you can see from here, you got the, this is a, uh, it's about six meters by 2.3 meters wide. And it's placed on skids. And you can put it on any truck or you can drag it and you can bring it to any location and these are basically the cons these are basically the characteristics of a, of a quad let's look at them again the quad plant has several essential features number one it has advanced communication technology the central plant will integrate the information from the other three plants of the quad will feature them in real time the second point, 
The plans are secured by special advanced loss prevention technology and Israeli technology used by the diamond industry. In other words, you're going to have cameras all over the place. Let's say you, you live in the States, in New York, you, you invested in a quad and you want to see how the plant is doing. All you got to do, you log in and you can see the plant in operation. You can see all the cameras, all the location. You can see the daily report, all very transparent. That's a technology that's, that, that I have embedded in the quad. Now, another thing about the quad, that it's totally modular. In other words, that it's easy maintenance. If one piece is missing, I can always get another one because this is all modular. This is a set of equipment that was made to order, okay? And we have it ready, and it's there, all we gotta do is just replace them. Now, it's adaptable and mobile. That means that I can move the plant anywhere I want within the claim. Let's say I have a claim, it's five kilometers big, five kilometers by five kilometers. So I have one right near the biggest main target, and the other three will be spread throughout the, throughout the claim near for example, near each vein, near each vein, I'm going to put, I put an, I'm going to put an oxidized plant. Now, the processing capacity of a plant, of the oxidized plant, is about 20 tons per hour, or anywhere between 300 to 100, 450 tons per day. Okay, so if you're looking at 300 tons per day, let's take the low, the low end here. You're looking at 300 times four which is 1,200 tons a day. So, today you can buy a big plant, a big, big plant by Gecko. Uh, usually these plants go for about five, six million dollars. And they're able to process about 1,200 tons a day or maybe 2,000 tons a day. But what's unique about the quad that despite it's very small size, it has a very high recovery rate of 91%. Okay, because, because I'm putting, I'm able to process the oxidized and the sulfatized type of ore, which I'm going to go into detail next. It has a very low operation cost. Plants operation cost, if you look at the big plants, in those big mines, they run at about 50%, 60% operating cost, okay? Let's say if you're lucky, you got them about 40%. But the quad, with the quad, I'm able to get 15 to 25% operating cost, which is unheard of in the gold mining business. And I'm going to go into detail why it's unheard of, because it's not labor intensive. All you got to do near each quad, you got to put only two people. Two people per shift, that's it. And the way it was worked, that only the central plant will require the, will have the security, will require the bulk of the labor. But it's nowhere near to the amount of people you need in the big plant. Okay, another characteristic of the quad, it has a low startup cost. Unlike gold mining plants, which process oxidized and sulfatized ore at the cost of six to $10 million, the quad equipment requires only about $600,000. That's with generators. Plus excavating equipment, let's say anywhere between seven hundred fifty to $1 million. Less than a $1 million. Okay? Another thing, the quad can lend itself very well to total bootstrapping. In other words, all you got to do, if you start with the central plant, which is the first, the first two plants, which are the sulfatized and the oxidized plant, Together would cost about three or four hundred thousand dollars with the, with the digging equipment. So I mean, you can start with this. You generate about fifteen kilos, which is sufficient to buy the other three plants. Okay, another thing is low lead production time, because the quad is a modular plant, and because the quad is simple and small. I wouldn't call it simple, but it is a smaller scale operation per unit. It takes about three months to fill the order, in an additional one month to bring it to the to the spot. This is unheard of when it comes to big plants. Big plants, if you tell me, oh, there's a big plant over here, we need to put it together. I'm talking about the deployment time of the plant to put it together. Will take you about 
six months to a year. Add to it the transport of the of the parts. Add to it the placing the order. It takes about six months to put the plant together. So we're looking about over a year until the plant is operating. So these are the main, basically the main advantages of the of the quad. Let's look at the oxidized plant. You can see here it's very simple. It's put on skids. It's about each skid about six meters long by 2.3 meters wide. Fits on the truck. I mean, a truck can come in or a tractor can drag it, put it on the on the truck, and take it anywhere. Uh, the ore falls in here. These are conveyor belts. This is a this is a, a hammer mill. This is another hammer. There's no ball mill, by the way. If you look at the, this this plant, there's no ball mill. You got why don't we don't need a ball mill here? And uh, I'm not going to get into technical uh, explanation here, but basically all you need these are the centrifuges, centrifuges here. Below the centrifuges, you got two buckets, and every hour or so you got to go in and take take the the residue that goes into the two buckets. And that's where the gold is, in these buckets here. Now, the waste material would go in as a waste, but it's really not a waste. It's really ore that have to be processed even further, and it will go to the sulfatized plant. Okay, let's look at the sulfatized plant. This is the sulfatized plant. These are basically tanks with agitators, uh, the material comes in, passes through a system of filters. I'm not going to go into details here, but basically the tanks have to be emptied every four hours, something like that. And uh, the residue would go to an electro, electro winning electrolysis process where the gold is going to be uh, purified to a level of 99.5%. So basically, this is the the entire thing put together. Very important that you understand what we do in a quad. These are the oxidized plants. This is the central plant. Okay, the central plant. You got. You're gonna put a, a fence around this perimeter here, and that's what you that's what you gotta guard. Okay, these plants are spread in the field. Okay, all they do is a process. The material, and let's say you let's say each plant process 300 tons a day. The concentrated material that need to be processed is only 10 percent. In other words, if 300 tons of, tons of ore comes in here, about 30 tons of ore would go out as a concentrated residue to be processed by the central plant, the sulfatized plant. So you imagine this, you got one, 30 tons is about one truck, one truckload. So one truckload goes from here to here, one truckload from, goes from here to here, one truckload goes from here to here, one truckload goes from here to here. Okay, if each plant processes 300 tons, the gold, which is collected in the buckets, will go in here and will be processed by by jig tables okay and then the gold from the jig tables will go into the electro winning plant which is right here so it's very important that you understand that these three plants these four plants supply the sulfatized plant with the material to be processed okay and that's that's the key here you don't need to put a sulfatized plant in all the in all the in all the quad all you need to put it right here in the center that's it in a centralized plant because it can process a lot of material and it really doesn't have to process a lot because you only got a truck from here a truck from here a truck from here and a truck from here per day that's it so let's look at some numbers let's say this plant process 300 tons a day 300 tons a day 300 tons a day and let's say that we're looking at three grams per ton okay but because we lose material in the recovery because the recovery rate is about 90% I would say 
you're supposed to take out of the three grams you're supposed to take 10 percent off which is 2.7 grams per ton 2.7 grams per ton which is the recovery rate but let's say let's take a really pessimistic view let's say that we really take only one gram per ton per day okay you only take one gram per ton per plant that's it so you got one gram 300 times one gram is 300 grams 300 grams you're talking about 300 grams per day from this plant from this plant you're looking about 1.3 kilos per day okay times 30 1.3 kilos times 30 you're looking at 40 kilos a month which isn't bad 40 kilos a month for a small plant like this is isn't bad okay and that's i'm talking about only one gram per ton so let's do the math today is may 2016 gold price is about 1200 dollars per ounce or about forty thousand dollars let's round up the figures a little bit forty thousand dollars per kilo so if you have 40 kilos per month we're looking about 40 times 40 1.6 million dollars less operating cost which is about let's take 25 percent operating cost we are left only with 1.2 million dollars a month which isn't bad but here here's the the nice thing my question is okay good robert we took we're taking 40 kilos a month from this quad okay fine that's nice that's dandy why do we stop here who said we're going to stop here that's the big thing that's the big advantage of the quad okay we don't have to stop here okay and I'm going to tell you another thing. I want to make a nice comparison with you. I'd like you to think like this. Before we go into the next slide, I would like to do. I'd like to ask you a question. Which is cheaper to transport? 500 people from New York to London using one plane, one only plane, or using five smaller planes with 100 seats each? The answer would be, oh, of course, uh, one plane is really be much cheaper because it's much cheaper to go from one place to another. But you forget that to make the one plane for 500 seat costs a lot more money. And that's what that's a problem with the big big plants. The big plants they cost a lot of money. But if you have smaller plants, efficient plants, and you have and use this system of the quad, you're able to get a very efficient operation here and that's my friends is the crux of the of the quad here here's the next thing I want to tell you about the quad it's really nice because it's cheap because it look it costs you what three uh, you're looking about three hundred thousand dollars here plus one two three about six hundred thousand dollars for the entire thing okay you would spend you 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 are processing 1200 tons a day the other plant that process 1200 tons a day one big plant would cost you about five to six million dollars ten times more but here is the nice thing about the quad because it's cheap because it's modular because it's it's mobile we're able to create as many as we want and the question you should ask me next would be why the heck would you stop here why not go and build another quad do repeat the process that's exactly what we do look at this because it's into the installation cost is low enough in comparison to the high cost of single mine it makes more sense to use the quad here's why you have one quad here another one here another one here and another one here you can because it's cheap you can do the first quad and you, you can have really an army of units like this oxidized plants dozens and dozens of them all you gotta do is just deploy them in the region okay deploy them in the region and you're able to get a lot of gold from them let's say you get 40 kilos here 40 kilos here here and here talking about 40 times 
40, no, 4 times 40 is 160 kilos a month. 160 kilos a month times uh, 12 months, that's almost a 2 ton business. You're getting 2 tons from all these plants together. And another thing, let's say you finish the gold in one place, there's no more gold, it's not profitable. You take the plant, you tell, listen, my friend, uh, we have to move. I mean, this is not, uh, it's not moving us anywhere. I mean, we're not making any gold here. You go ahead, look for somewhere else. And that's a good thing about the quad. It's mobile, it's flexible, and it's expendable. It's expendable, and you can expand your business and do build as many quads as you want. Before you know it, you have 50, imagine 50 quads spread within within the region. So this is, my friend, the idea behind the quad. You can have within the region, imagine having 12 quads. It's like a franchise. It's a franchise for gold. You would ask me, why, why it was never done before? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe the big, maybe the gold mine company prefer that you do it their way with the big plan, than do it that way. Basically, I, I gotta tell you this much. You know, uh, I developed the, this oxidized plant with the sulfatized plant uh, because I saw the flow in the big plants, and I sat down with an engineer, mining engineer, and I told him, "Listen, this is completely crazy what they're doing. I mean, there's a lot of waste." Uh, this plant is a very big plant. It's a white elephant. We don't need all this size to get the gold that we get. It's really unnecessary. It's heavy, cumbersome. There must be a better way to do this. And I came up with this idea, doing the plant this way and not their way of the big plant. And that's why I think the, the quad will be, why the reason the quad will be successful. Okay, this is basically it, my friends. If you want to move in on the quad, if you want to do something with it, let me know, drop me a line, we'll put the project together. I got many, dozens, dozens of, of claims I can, we can deploy the quads right away, we can start. We need about $2 million to start right, about $2 million. But this $2 million can become a lot of money later on. Okay, my friends, this is Robert Abraham. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, drop me a line.